hand foot mouth disease otherwise known as hfmd is caused by coxsackie virus which belongs to the enterovirus family it usually occurs in children between 6 months to 6 years of age however of late this year and last year we have observed that many older children up to the age of 12 to 14 years are also being affected and another disturbing trend which has happened that the re-emergence or recurrence of the disease in the same child or the same host and in a gap of 4 to 5 years and as long as 8 years it has been noticed to reoccur and it also happens twice in the same season or within a one year. So cause of this has to be found out. If you go on to see the symptomatology of hand foot mouth disease that it usually happens as the name signifies blisters appear in the hand and foot and in the skin specifically areas like elbows, knees, buttocks are affected and another specific area which is involved is the mouth cavity where painful blisters happen in the palate in the throat which causes difficulty in swallowing and the child is not able to take food and water properly and there is drooling of saliva. Fever though is not a prominent feature it usually happens in mild degree during first one to two days and it usually subsides by second day and the disease almost lasts about six to seven days where the first three days the blisters appear and emerge and over towards fifth sixth and seventh day it usually subsides and what we have seen that these blisters do not leave any lasting mark or scar marks over the skin though this disease is mild but the re-emergence or recurrence of the disease in the same host after many years and sometimes in the same year also questions the whether there is a strain change of the virus or whether any new virus is upcoming along with it. So these questions remain to be resolved. If a vaccine is developed in future, it may be helpful in that regard. Hand foot mouth disease is treated usually in a symptomatic manner out of which the management of the oral cavity is the most important factor. So usually we provide some oral anesthetics so as the child can take food and water and not land up in dehydration and other nutritional related issues and the other skin lesions are usually mild by applying any emollients they usually become obliterate by third or fourth day and fever is managed by antipyretic drugs and usually the episodes last maximum up to one week of time. Usually the symptomatology lasts first three days it occurs and emerges and next three days it subsides. So by end of one week the child is usually out of this disease.